Hi, uh, in this video I would like to show uh, some enhancements to uh, chat app. Uh, these enhancements are related to the way how the unread conversations are being displayed. Uh, this is the uh, chat app which, is be, which was created based on the template which is included in Adelo. I will not explain how it works uh, because there's a wonderful video by Adelo team uh, explaining the, how to create the chat. Uh, so um, I will talk more about the uh, new uh, this uh, new label uh, for the regular chat app. Uh, this new label is based on the read statuses. So if uh, the something new in the conversation has happened after uh, user has uh, login user has uh, visited this uh, conversation screen, so there is no red status. Then a new will, uh, this new label will be, will be displayed. Uh, the problem here is that uh, read statuses uh, they increase rapidly if uh, chat is used uh, by the users. So as you can see, I have just one uh, conversation and with two messages, but I have uh, 17 read statuses. So uh, users has uh, both users in total has visited the screen for 17 times. So uh, I'd like to um, show um, a modification to the system. So to start with, uh, I will need the uh, current user uh, available on the screen, not just the logged in user. As we can see now, uh, the current uh, data available is current conversation, but current user is missing. So current is the user is being transferred from this screen when the chat is chat is started, but not from the uh, main chat uh, screen. So first, what I'm going to do is to modify a bit this um, this chat screen. So instead of uh, linking to conversation from the uh, conversations list, I will link to the conversation screen from the internal uh, current conversation members list. So this is a member, this is a counterparty, not a logged in user. So I will add an action that I will link to conversation screen. And uh, as uh, you can see now, uh, current user is available. So on this screen, we have both users, a logged in user and the counterparty user. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is to create an additional uh, relation in the conversations uh, collection. This will be uh, a relation to a user's collection. It will be a many-to-many -many, uh, relation. And uh, I will store the users which have not read the conversation yet. So I call it not read by uh, the logic here is that when something, uh, some new message is being added, the counterparty uh, should be added to this uh, relation. And when the uh, user visits the conversation screen, uh, the user is removed from this relation. So let's implement that. So first to start with, upon visiting the screen, uh, there is an action, uh, create read status. I will add the action to update the current conversation and I will remove logged in user from uh, this uh, property. So we assume, I assume that uh, the user reads the message when uh, enters the screen. And also I will add an action upon uh, sending a message. So if a uh, user sends a message, then uh, counterparty uh, user should be notified about the uh, message and uh, he or she should be added to the relation. So uh, I will add current user to uh, this not read by relation and uh, just in case I will remove logged in user from this relation. So if a new message has appeared uh, in during the time when the user was on screen, this is one of the way to update this uh, 
uh, information. So, uh, and the third uh, and last thing which I can do, or which I will do, I will show um, the alternative new uh, label. So let's use this one as a base. I will change it to something else. Let it be like this one. And uh, it will also be sometimes visible. Uh, it we, uh, will be sometimes visible if current conversation not read by all does uh, contains logged in user. So if logged in user is in this uh, not read by relation, then we need to show this uh, icon. And if not, then uh, the icon should be hidden. Uh, and as a small bonus, um, let's add the label of the number of unread conversations in total. So I will add a text label here. Oh, let's align it right. And this will be a number of conversations, the count of conversations, where not read by contains logged in user. So we are counting every conversation uh, where logged in user is uh, is, is has this relation not not read by to that conversation okay uh, so let's test how it works okay finally it is loaded so I am logged in as uh, Victor K and I have active conversation with John Doe uh, I have uh, also other browser windows open. So this is the window for John Doe. Okay, let's send a message. I have already started the conversation. Test message. So the message is sent. Uh, let's have a look what we have in the previewer. So you see that both icons are shown and uh, so the this is the old method this is the new method and we have a one unread conversation so if we visit uh, the chat window and then we go back uh, you see that icons are disappearing and there are zero unread messages so let's uh, try to chat with another person so there is another user bill smith I will start the chat with him. And uh, okay, I can go back. So there are two chats with two users. And uh, here is the chat for Bill Smith. Uh, the message is here. And uh, let's answer, send another message from John Doe as well. Test number two. So let's switch back to as you can see uh, for Victor, there are two unread messages and there are icons for both for old and new methods. And uh, yeah, we can see all new messages here and the count is decreasing. Uh, so this is, uh, in this video, I have described the alternative uh, method of creating the unread uh, tags for chat app. Hope uh, this was useful, uh, enjoy, and uh, please provide comments and suggestions, and thank you.